It, it seems that these days always go so quickly. Um, it's so rich and diverse in, in the content. I hope you feel as stimulated by the discussions that we've had today as I do. It's really been fantastic. And as we said right at the beginning, um, just terrific to come together in person here in Portugal and have you join us, obviously, remotely from wherever you are in Europe and around the world. Um, Terrific discussion this afternoon. I mean, it's clear as we knew going into it that this discussion is a complex discussion to have. Lots of complex arguments, scientific, political, economic, social, cultural. Um, the purpose of the FFA, the Forum for the Future of Agriculture, has always been to create a relatively safe space where we can have open debate and dialogue with each other and hopefully bring new ideas and thinking forward that enables us to progress. And as several of the speakers have said, a lot of it is about having the conversation and trying to progress. Um, we've heard some, some strongly articulated views from the panelists uh, today. Um, please do keep uh, following the discussion and submitting your thoughts and commentary. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. It's important that we bring in all perspectives. Well, that just about brings us to the end of today's Forum for the Future of Agriculture regional event um, activities from the main auditorium, uh, our plenary session this morning, and indeed our workshop this afternoon. Plenty more to come over the next hour and days um, with some adjacent events around today's uh, regional forum event. And as we progress through the summer and into the autumn and winter, the forum intends to be back with its full program and we hope to see more of you um, in person. Mark. We will certainly, um, all things being equal, be back together in Brussels for our annual conference um, next spring. I will stop and hand over, I think it's Antonio, isn't it? Antonio Spinat Pinto. Cristina, over to you. <laughs> Tenho o prazer de chamar Antonio Spinat Pinto. Antonio Spinat Pinto, please. Antonio Spinat Pinto, for your closing remarks. Please. Good. Muito obrigado. Boa tarde a todos. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I would like to first thank you, Elo, Cap, and Seab, for putting this workshop together in the framework of FFA. I also like to welcome all the speakers, all the participants, and those who follow us remotely or here in this beautiful uh, conference room. Also. A deep, some deep recognition to all the farmers for all their work, for unequivocally showing that they, their deepest desire is to put food on all our citizens' plates. Now, today, we can still hear that thunderous war that came from farmers and agriculture, even though we now are living in the midst of a pandemic. We keep we keep, we've kept producing uh, food. We have abundant, nutritious, good quality products. The sector has been contributing to all in all to this. Farmers have understood that times are changing and they're now delivering. This uh, new the most recent study has highlighted the role of plants in plant enhancement in the European Union, in the European agriculture. And it ties in very well with these two strategies, biodiversity and farm, farm to fork. It's been growing annually and contributing to the uh, two-thirds of annual growth of agri European agriculture. Without it, one-fifth of the agricultural produce would, be, would have been lost. And to compensate all this, we would need 22 million additional actors outside the European uh, land area. And we would have to emit 
some further 4 billion CO2 just to compensate for that. Now we do have these two strategies. We want to be less dependent on pesticides and antimicrobial agents. We want to invest in organic farming and, and keep uh, sustain the loss uh, of biodiversity. We don't want to lose one-fifth of production until 2030. If we don't do anything, we can have more diseases, more plagues. And we're witnessing this, we've been witnessing this already. The plagues are harder and harder to deal with. Most recent study commissioned for the agriculture Portuguese, for the Portuguese agriculture but we can we could ex extrapolate this easily for all other member states. This can give way to a big loss in profitability in different crops like maize and tomatoes. That's just an example. We do need desperately alternative solutions. Competitive still. Uh, that can increase productivity and keep the sector sustainable. Plant enhancement can be can have a major role here. This is a slow process, however. Uh, we can have some results in the next decades, but it will not deliver in the short run. We need to accelerate this. We have new genomic techniques that can be used and can deliver faster. The most recent study commissioned by the European Union mentioned that new genomic techniques may contribute to the goal, to the Green Deal goals, biodiversity and farm to fork, farm to fork strategies. So, enhancing, it's faster, it's more affordable, we can uh, diminish all the negative impacts, or a lot of them. So, member states need to support the European Commission's proposal so that all these varieties don't have um, genomics techniques that are foreign to the native species. We also need to, have, to clarify concepts and for clear legislation. We need to say clearly that the sector needs to invest so that we can make everything available to farmers quickly. We need to keep promoting our agriculture in the world as a sustainable model. Dear participants and Sam, my organization, as was been asked as to close this meeting. So healthy crops and live a healthy life. Thank you. Well, I won't uh, repeat everything that I said already. We'll bring the, today's event to a close. Thank you again to Antonio, to all the speakers, Christina, for your excellent moderation throughout the course of the day. Thank you again to all our partners that are involved in organizing today's events, particularly the local and the event partners, our media partner, and of course, the Portuguese presidency of the European Union. Do stay with us for those adjacent events during the course of today and um, tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you back in the forums program as we continue. Most of all, thank you to you for attending and joining us. Stay well, stay safe. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.